Don Barlow, your, your vision of philanthropy and stepping up to stand tall for those who can't, what, what drives you? What's your passion? What's your vision? Well, you know, I think that, that philanthropy often ends up with organizations that exist in order to exist. And, and one of the things I always really appreciated about Rex was that, you know, it, the, our, our model was one that, that made it possible for, for the little folks to get money directly, the, the folks that, that wouldn't even think to ask for it. And, uh, you know, I, the large philanthropic groups uh, have a way of, in addition to being self-perpetuating, they, they also have, have a way of noticing some things and turning a blind eye to others. And w one of the things I really always appreciated about Rex was that we would give money to things like needle exchanges, which were really necessary, but which nobody else would touch with a 10-foot pole. Uh, and I, I think that, you know, there's, a, there's an awful lot of philanthropy that requires direct human contact and, and a, a, a belief on the, on the human level of, of helping out and, and, a, and a real personal engagement. And Rex was always something that had that with, with its recipients. Uh, we, we built organizations. We, we would uh, come in and, and create a, a long-term relationship that, that resulted in some wonderful things that, were, that, are, that are still self-perpetuating and, 